Season four of The Good Doctor is going to be <laughs> fantastic. The scripts have been so, so great. And yes, we're definitely addressing COVID. We're all already overstretched. You know, it's such an honor just to be able to play a frontline worker and to be able to celebrate these heroes. During this pandemic, uh, the doctors, the nurses, the hospital administrators, the healthcare folks, the, everybody on the front lines, they're heroes. They've been putting themselves in harm's way. And so to be able to play this character to celebrate them is such an honor. And it's better than calling her next to kin. She's gonna require constant monitoring. Our writers get inspired by true stories and then create the stories that apply for the show. There was a beautiful scene written where my character just drives home and it's just, you, you realize they can't interact with their family in the same way, right? Because you don't want to bring the virus potentially into your household and put them at risk. So there's a loneliness that many of our frontline workers and healthcare workers have dealt with through this that is even beyond just um, quarantine type loneliness. For returning to work amidst the pandemic, it's been very interesting, but also stressful, you know, from the standpoint of obviously, I don't want to see anyone get sick, but it's remarkable the types of safeguards that are, have been put in place. We are all in this together. We're all at this together. And we all gonna win. We're all gonna win. Saving Our Daughters, it's an outgrowth of my book, Letters to a Young Sister, Define Your Destiny. I have leaders like Michelle Obama and Gabrielle Union. And I wanted to do one for young women as like this hug and encouragement on paper from a guy, but then also include all these amazing female leader voices inside the book. I've worked with the organization before and I'm so proud of what they do and the reach that they have. And so, you know, Dr. King said, we're, we're all tied together in a single garment of mutual destiny. And that just means we're all in this together. And so whatever I can do to, to link and connect and encourage and inspire young women and young men, it's, it's great. So black folks can't be expected to solve racism just like women can't be expected to solve sexism, right? Um, and misogyny. Uh, we as men have to step up and hold each other accountable. We as men have to, have to uplift young women um, in, in a place of safety, in a way that there's no expectation about or from them and that they are validated completely and wholly. One of the biggest things that we battle, I think all of us, no matter what age, is our self-talk. If we can just get our young women and young people and young men and whoever to just start instilling those subconscious cues about how marvelous they are and to feel good about who they are and, and to know that their best is enough, then it, it, it leads to all these other positive outcomes later on.